there are just some days you smile and this is one of them. Boy, it has just been terrific out. But with springtime warmth, you got the possibility of some springtime storms. So most of us on the Max Track Doppler here are quiet, but we've been watching one isolated thunder shower pop up southeastern corner of Knott County. This is now bleeding on over into Letcher County, and it is heading on off to the east. But we will see a lot more rain coming in here on the Max Track over the coming two days. First round arrives tomorrow afternoon. That won't be severe, but it may have some rain and some lightning and thunder to go along with it. Potential for stronger storms comes in for us tomorrow night and into the day on Thursday. Temperature is not a whole lot of middle ground. It's either really warm or really cold. Spring, which begins on Saturday, looks very nice to start. We'll get to all that coming up. What has been just phenomenal today? Remember yesterday? You, I know you want to forget yesterday, but it was cold. It was miserable. But by this point yesterday, Lexington had actually gotten up to 40. Uh, but the bottom line is we're still running 30 degrees warmer than at this time yesterday. First time since we've been producing these maps that I've seen the black show up. I mean, that's how unusual this is. This is just not an everyday occurrence. So enjoy it while we've got it. Numbers reflect that. It's 70 in McKee. Boonville's at 74. 70 out of Harrodsburg, 70 Frankfurt and Cynthiana. South side of Lexington, we sit at 69. It's also 69, or now 68 at the Bluegrass Airport. Northwest wind at 9. High today did make 70, and it was delightful. Also spotlighting Winchester this week. So here is a look at downtown Winchester, where the Kentucky Mesonet says it is 69 degrees with a northwest wind at 9. 70 also has been the high today in Clark County. High temperatures tomorrow. How about 70 again? Sounds good for a lot of us around the bluegrass. As we then look then to the east, you've got 70 degree readings around Moorhead and West Liberty. As we go to the southeast, how about some mid 70s? 74 Hazard and Hindman, 75 out of Jackson. Barberville looks at a 73 and then into the lakes. Clouds will come in a little more quickly. So highs 69 Campbellsville, 70 in Stanford. 72 comes out of London. Here's the overall setup. Little weak system coming by. That's actually the remnants of what was the huge Rocky Mountain snow. Now our weather attention turns to the next wave in this sequence. By tomorrow morning, producing the showers and storms in West Tennessee out ahead of a warm front. As we continue into tomorrow late in the day, you see that first wave come by and that'll be just a rainmaker for us. Again, some lightning and thunder will be mixed in. The real action is going to be near where the warm front, the cold front and the occluded front come together. It's called a triple point. And with that, you see that moving through Middle Tennessee down into Alabama. That is where there's going to be a, a big time severe weather outbreak. By Late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, the potential comes in, especially into southeast Kentucky. We'll have to watch that carefully. And then during the day on Thursday, we could see one more round of storms try and pop up for us. So that's what we'll have to watch as well. What's been an advantage of this cool spring? The overall lack of tornadoes nationally. Unfortunately, that is likely to change tomorrow. As you see, a significant chunk of the deep south is under a moderate risk of severe storms and a big severe weather outbreak looks likely. Partly cloudy, patchy fog, mid 40s tonight, 70 tomorrow on St. Patrick's Day. Storms arrive in the afternoon. They could be strong tomorrow night into Thursday, mid 60s Thursday, cold on Friday as the rain ends. But at this point, the first weekend of spring looks delightful.